Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to our YouTube uh, series. Well, it's the end of the quarter, right? Yep. So as usual, we have some people that made a lot of money and uh, we have a money series today. Yeah, fantastic. The first person we've got is Ulf, is it? Oh, that's correct. All yep. the way from Sweden. To All conquer the, way. the industrial <laughs> recruitment market like a Viking. Uh, is, uh, is our top biller. He is our top biller and he's getting a massive commission check this quarter. Um, he's getting uh, 8 million Japanese yen, uh, which is uh, about $60,000. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Not Pretty bad good, yet. right, for three months' work. Oh, yeah. Let's hear from the man himself. It's not too bad, but can always be better, actually. Of course, I'm happy with <laughs> the amount of money and all of that is coming in. And uh, I'm also looking forward to doing more. So, uh, of course, happy with the money, always. Money is never enough, though. <laughs> never feel satisfied, actually. You always want to go for more. And that's my kind of mentality as well, that I'm not ever happy. And I always want to push to achieve higher targets basically and achieve more money in the bank. So, so my next target is either the same or even higher than that. I think Cornerstone in general has a very solid uh, methodology first of all and uh, individual coaching from directors and managing directors also help. Uh, just in general being able to use my own network and combine that with the Cornerstone methodology really help to achieve this kind of success. I am a Stoic actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to take a more down-to-earth approach to things and um, I want to kind of, you know, I don't want to close any doors. I always want to have an open mind, see where I can learn new things. And I like to look at myself, even after all these years, it was more than a decade of experience. I want to see myself more of a sponge that can try and absorb all the water around you. And uh, there's always going to be pain still. So um, changing is never easy. Uh, but once you do it, you'll reap all the benefits. I'll probably not go too crazy. Um, my personal target is to reinvest um, all the uh, cash that I'm earning and make sure that it just keeps growing and make the money work for me as well. But I'll probably buy some new nice shirts and some new clothes and you know spend a little bit on myself for that. <laughs> I'm not much of a Roppongi guy actually. Um, more of a guy, kind of kick back, relax, have a nice bite to eat and a few nice drinks with buddies and friends. <laughs> Talk to that guy. I hope you're enjoying all the money in the bank, man. <laughs> I hope you've been earning more incentives than, we are, than what I'm earning today and that you're having a good life, enjoying with your family, friends, and still in Cornerstone, and uh, just having a general good time. I would say be humble, uh, keep an open mind, be proactive in seeking uh, advice from others, but also you need to have the motivation uh, Cornerstone can give you all the tools, all the techniques, all the methodology in the world, but if you do not have your own motivation, doesn't matter how good technical skills you have, you will never be able to keep pushing forward and be able to grow from there. That would be my advice. Make sure that you're in it for the right motivation. In general, uh, problems that have to be solved, right? That's something that, it can be for myself in the workplace or something that challenges me that I, I feel that there's something that I need to overcome, right? Or something that I can actually learn here. Something that can give me more knowledge, give me more, you know, 
skills, more techniques, and whatever to, you know, either if that is excelling at my private life, you know, I, I love going swimming, for example. If that is more about relaxing or, you know, getting my mind off various things. Well, thank you everyone for watching and uh, look forward to seeing all of you guys succeeding and hopefully in Cornerstone. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Money Series. I think Ulf gave us some good insights into what makes a top biller and how he's going to spend that money. So if you enjoyed the video, um, hit the like button, subscribe and drop us a comment. And also, if you're someone that really wants to become a top biller, we're the place to be. We're paying the highest commission in the Japan market, so hit us up. Okay.